Hey Deckers, can you tell the difference between these two images? Unfortunately, no, one is not on Steam OS. Unfortunately, due to the EA anti-cheat, we are completely blocked from playing FIFA 23 on Steam Deck. However, it does run on Windows. Well, at least it does with a bit of a tweak, as the image on the left here, and what I'm going to show full screen in just a second, is what you will get out of the box. And you'll probably see very clearly from these images, if you're paying attention, that the left one is much more stuttery and quite blurry. Now, I didn't quite understand why this is, as generally out of the box, Windows runs very well on the Steam Deck, but FIFA 23 really struggled here. When I posted about this on Twitter, I got a reply, thanks to Alexander Matt that informed us about the buffer in BIOS. This is actually the frame time buffer, and I'll come on to what that is and how to change it in just a second, but that was actually the cause of this issue, and changing it made a huge difference. So just for reference, you can see the full screen gameplay here of the default FIFA 23 running on Windows 10 with the one gig frame time buffer. And to change this, you will need to shut down your deck completely and then power it on with the plus button and the power button held. And if it struggled with this a little bit, I've got a full video of this on the channel of how to fix the UMA frame time buffer. If you can get to this screen, just go into the setup utility, go down to advanced, and then change the UMA frame time buffer size from 1G, which is the default, to 4G. Reboot your Steam Deck and go back into Windows. Make sure you save the settings when you exit out of the BIOS. And now you will see that if I lock FIFA to 30 frames per second, I can actually run this on medium with the dynamic base hair off, which I think even on auto is off anyway. And now, apart from the cutscenes or the FMV sequences, we now run very, very smoothly and the graphics actually look pretty good. So just by changing that frame time buffer from one gig to four gig, it's performing 10 times better in Windows. Unfortunately with FIFA 23, the cutscene sections still seem to drop the frames per second. So skipping these is definitely going to help your eyesight. But overall, playing the game is much more playable. It still drops a little bit below 30 frames per second here and there, but it's much more playable than it was out of the box. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into FIFA 23 if you've got Windows 10 on Steam Deck, and I know I still owe you guys a guide for this, so keep an eye on the channel for installing Windows 10. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here from FIFA 23 without me talking, so you can get a better feel for the game and performance. Let us know in the comments below if there's any other games that you are on the lookout for, and if it's in our library, we'll take a look. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video. Didn't go to plan in the end. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? A meaty but fair challenge. And it will be a throw in. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. A chance to whip it in. Not messing around with that clearance. Body in the way. A good and fair challenge.